currently playing with this CNC machine here. Uh, we do have a Dremel tool for it, but we don't have the tip for it right now. So right now we're just using a pen strapped to it with rubber bands. Had some semi-successful passes here. Tex worked out well. Tux could have gone a little bit better, but you can tell it's him. So full disclosure, yeah. we really don't know what we're doing here. Yeah. Um, and the way I made these was I got the images or fonts in GIMP and then I converted them to paths and exported them as SVGs and then we're using uh, jscut.org, a website to convert that to G-code. And then we're using a program you can find on GitHub called Universal, can you click on our CNC software? Universal, oh. G-code sender. Universal G-code sender. Uh, and it's connecting to it over USB, but a USB to serial. Uh, and this is a... Uh, Shapoco. Shapoco. And I guess the software, Carbonite, no, no, this is not sponsored. Um, <laughs> the software on the controller for this is... Gerbil. Gerbil is how we're saying it. Do we know if that's actually how you say I'm it? I'm pretty sure that's how it's said. So it's G-R-B-L. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, so basically this software is universal software cross-platform that uh, allows you to uh, work with those controllers. So we're just playing around with this. Yeah. Alright. I think we have enough lift. <laughs> <laughs> It's a floppy disk. Being a little more ambitious with our artwork this time around. Our depth might have been a little bit off, so Andrew's holding the paper still for us. I'm trying to compress it a little bit too so that that doesn't happen. This is going to come out more like an interpretation of an art piece. <laughs> well, it's complete. Little disappointing. What it looks like. What it's supposed to look like. What it looks like. What it's supposed to look like. But again, this is more our not knowing how to do things properly and not necessarily the stuff we're using. Well, go number three on the Dragon is definitely going much better than the first one and a half tries. Uh, basically, <laughs> just moving the pen up a little bit so it wasn't dragging so much on the paper it allows the pen to, to move a little freer. Right. Yeah, so this is, this is the first go with a few extra lines on testing stuff over it, but you can definitely see a lot of dots there where we're actually getting little shapes here for the scales. Yeah, the scales are a lot better. That's the so, hardest part with the foam, was that the foam's not flat. Our CNC prints of a Chinese dragon. Uh, attempt number three went pretty good. Uh, we lost some detail up here just because the wood wasn't completely flat that we have this laid on, so the pen was missing a few spots. But uh, there we go. It is doable with little knowledge. <laughs> <laughs>